Part eight, y'all. Here we go. Okay, here's the front of the back hub. Uh, of course, this is where your forward reverse switch, this is your charging switch right here. So I'm thinking I may place the Bluetooth controller right here. Based on the pictures I took, I believe I should have enough space for right here for my battery. I think one battery is right here, another one's right here. So this should, I should have enough clearance for the back of that Bluetooth uh, unit to sit right here. So I'll need to drill a hole right here. I sort of got my little mark center where I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna do that right there. I initially thought about putting my speakers right here. But again, like I said, my batteries are right here and that clearance is gonna be close. I think if I had no other choice, I could, but I've seen other people install their speakers here. So I am think I'm gonna try to install them right here. Here. two speakers right here and i got a sort of a little template right there i'm going to measure get the correct distance and put them right there so uh let's get started all right i've decided let me introduce she's been on most of the videos in the background this is max and max is short for maxine i'm gonna give you a brief story my neighbor one of my sons friends dog has some puppies so she's an all-American breed. She's mixed with everything. It's about two years ago, he asked, could he have a puppy? And we said, okay. So we said, hey man, go down there and just grab up with the, I think the, the dog had like six or seven puppies. We said, look, go down there and grab a boy. As long as it's a boy, grab it. We can have one. So he went and grabbed this. She was the only brown one. All the rest of them were black. So he grabbed the only brown one and we did not, I didn't think to look at the dog to see if it was a boy or not. So we had him for like two weeks. Thinking it's a boy, I never dawned on me to look. I never paid attention how to use the bathroom. And so we took it to the vet. Once the vet said, hey, your uh, your dog, she's ready. And we like, she? And he's like, oh yeah, she's a girl. And of course, so we already named it Max. So now we her. Maxine with the the in in parentheses so she goes by Max so she's in all the videos and that's the story of Max Pretty clean cut, pretty even. Now let's get the Bluetooth console hole droid. Drill. All right, nice clean. Uh, that's clean right there, y'all. Now, uh, of course, you put the bezel on the other side and the tightness it up. So uh, let me tentatively hook everything up right quick. Let's see if we can get a, a sound test. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna let y'all just look at this. I'm gonna just, just stare at that. Here's another thing. Here's the steering cop. Here's the old steering wheel. Now you look on there, it's all oh, just unscrew this bolt. It's a bolt that sits like that. It's the old one. It's a bolt right there. Unloosen that bolt. Supply slide this off. Bolt comes off with no problems. Comes right off. This thing is stuck on there with Jupiter lava moon magma. This thing was so hard to get out. I looked on all YouTube. Everybody said this thing. I don't see anybody that says that this was easy. Everybody had problems with this dadgum steering wheel. Everybody, there was no solution. You see these cuts right there. There's that saw. I had to end up cutting these things down right here. Pull this off. Then there's another little metal sleeve that goes around it like this that grips these teeth. That's the part that's stuck. And you can see right there that's stuck. So I had to get the saw and I had to end up going and cutting down and slicing these this little sleeve off of it. And I see I chewed up a little bit, but there's still enough teeth on here for the old, the new one to come on to do its thing. I mean, I could have went barbaric on it at first and been done, but I was trying, you know, to be cool and try all the little safe ways, but 
had to end up getting a saw to get this whole thing off there. So, with all of that being said, from my estimation, this was the last challenging part of this whole makeover thing. So, everything from this point, I didn't film none of it because I don't want nobody to see how terribly uh, it was, but you're not gonna find no videos on YouTube. You, you see a couple of guys with a little caliper pulley thing, they're trying to pull it off, but there are no other videos showing you how to cut it off. So I just made three cuts on that plastic wheel, spread it apart, it came off, the little uh, metal part. I went down the sides this way. You can see that's about to gouge a little bit. I did it on two sides, then I took a hammer and I ended up hammering off the other parts and it popped right off. So that's it. So now we're gonna get to the, everything from this point. I know I said this before, should be smooth seven. So let's get into it. All right. These little compartments, I'm getting a new uh, panel. And I assume that the panel was like the full panel. It had the face and it had these buckets on there. But the panel you order is just the face. And so you sh I should have left these attached. So now I went to Harbor Freight. It was attached with rivets. It was attached with rivets. So I went to Harbor Freight, got this little uh, rivet thing. It was like $6. So I'm gonna try to uh, attach it, these panels back on here and try to get the face plate on there. Y'all, I haven't, I don't think I've done a rivet since metal working in high school. Mr. Hodges, shout out to late Mr. Hodges, who was uh, at Pearl Cone High School. That's the last time I think I've done a rivet, but fairly simple from what I understand, from, from what I remember. Let's try this first one. I picked my color scheme based off of this one item. There's the panel that I picked and I saw it, man. It's, it was, it, I'm gonna just let you see it. All right, here it is. Here it is, y'all. That wood grain type panel. It's plastic, of course. It's got the cup holders right there. That's where your steering got a little glove compartment with a key. Another little compartment over the key. That's why I had to put those apartments back on so once you open these doors you access that area and this is the hole that came with it that's where i put my uh the key these are the holes that i just finished cutting I use my dremel and i made a little hole but this is the hazard switch here is my power uh let me know the voltage how much uh power i have left on the battery so i just cut that out of course, I got to screw it down. And there it is, y'all. That is it. So, I'll get these connected on here. Just get them screwed on the bezels. Get my key switch uh, screwed on. Start preliminary uh, running the wires from back here, from here all the way back. All right, let's get it going. All right, we're gonna tackle this little upholstery, getting this uh, old wood detached from the cushion. It's pretty much just rotted out, really. Right. 
I'm gonna definitely use this wood template for the uh, And just when you think you're done with rusted bolt, you find another rusted bolt. All right, let's see if we can get this. Let's go with the trails. Batteries are just dead, y'all. So, charge this up and we'll get back to it.